Hello everyone, I am Shamant Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series. Let us take the bouncer of the last video. A batsman had a certain average in his 11 innings. In his next match, he scored 90 runs. Hence, his average was decreased by 5 runs. Meaning, even though he scored 90 runs, his average got decreased means before this match, he used to score more than 90 runs. Okay, for example, you are scoring 50, 50, 50 in each of the subject. One of the subject, if you score 90, okay, your average increases. If in 50, 50, 50, if one of the marks is 30, your average has to decrease, right? Hence, after scoring 90, his average decreased means his average has to be greater than 90 before this 12th innings. Okay, look here now. How to find the batting average? Okay, if you are not familiar, look here runs per innings, the total number of runs per total number of not matches, innings, because though he has played 100 matches, okay, he must have played only 90 innings, meaning is 90 times he has got a chance to bat, okay, even though 100 matches has been played, 90 innings, okay, in the scorecard it will be displayed as 90 innings, 100 matches, because in the 90 innings only he has got the chance to bat, okay. Similarly, bowling average, bowling average we will do in next time. Bowling average, how to find out? It is nothing but runs conceded per wickets taken. Okay, bowling average. We will do this one in the next question. Okay, batting average. How to find the batting average? Runs per innings. Okay, look here now. A batsman had a certain average. I will consider that certain average as x. Okay, let the average be x. He is scoring x runs, x runs, x runs in each of the innings. How many innings? 11 innings. So, he must have scored how much? 11 x, okay. x, 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 11 times will be 11 x. Next, in his 12th innings, how much was added? 90 runs was added, okay, 90 runs. 11 x plus 90, this is his total score, okay. How to find the average of this total score now? Divide by total number of innings. How many innings? 11 innings plus 1 totally 12 innings. If I do this 12 innings, after the 12th innings, what happened? The average was decreased by 5 runs. Before that, the average is x. Now, it is decreased by 5 means x minus 5. Okay. If I solve this one, see 11x plus 90 is equal to 12x minus 60. So, x is equal to 150. This was the average after 11 innings, okay, find his average after 11 innings. If the average was asked after 12 innings, then after 12 innings, which is nothing but x minus 5, 150 minus 5, the average would be 145, okay. But the answer asked is 150 in this case. After 11 innings, his average was 150. Okay, he used to score 150, 150, 150. Because of scoring 90, which is less than the average, whole average came down by 5. And as you guys expecting, we are launching the CSAT foundation course, which will be starting from 7th September and it will be held only on the weekends. Okay, only two days in a week, which is very helpful for the non-science background students and also the students who are basically struggling in the quant part and the reasoning part. The whole syllabus will be completed from basic to advanced, you just have to attend the class and refer to the notes. After that, no need to refer to any of the resources. The course details will be displayed here. Go through it and avail the course. This is today's question, guys, Okay, which is from the mensuration. A wheel of radius 1.75 meter makes how many revolutions to cover 11 kilometers? Okay. Now, look here. This is a wheel of radii 1.75 meters. Okay. How many revolutions it has to make to cover 11 kilometers? Okay. RPM. So you will be having in your bikes RPM. Okay. Rotations, revolutions per minute. First in rotation. In your bike also, you will be having RPM meter, okay, which denotes the revolutions per minute. Similarly, here also. See, one revolution depends on the length or as the distance covered depends on this whole circumference, perimeter, okay. And the circumference of a circle, circular wheel, wheel is always a circle, is nothing but 2 pi r. If I cut this one, 
and if I stretch this one in one revolution, okay, it can cover this distance, right? Okay, this much of distance. How much? 2 pi r. Okay, what is 2 pi r? 2 into pi values 22 by 7. R value given radii here 1.75. This is 1.75 into 4 times is 7. Similarly, this is 2 times 11. Okay, so in one revolution, it can cover 11 meters. It has to cover 11 kilometer. 11 kilometer is 11,000 meters. See, in one revolution, 11 meters means to cover 11,000. How many revolutions it should make? 1000 revolutions it should make. Okay, here multiply by 1000, 1000. So, answer is C, 1000 revolutions. And guys, this is today's bouncer. Okay, this is a pathway question. Okay, street of width 15 meters surrounds from outside a rectangular garden whose measurement is 200 by 180 meters. What is the area of that path? Okay, try to solve this question and put the answer in the comment section. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.